All right, I'm back at uh, Civil Old Texas City Hall. You'll probably see the fire ban still in, in force, which is normal for this time of year, except for it's been kind of wet. You'll also notice the sign is no longer there. No more sign. Well, that's good. So let's see uh, what happens next. Is the city manager in? Hey, how you doing? Nice to see you again, Steve. Yeah, my, my subscribers love you. Oh, thank yeah. you. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> but I do have to apologize for the shot because I had it set for over here and it caught you like from here to here. Oh. All right, so and some of it I got your face too, but. Well, that's okay. <laughs> um, city manager is, is ready. He asked me to bring you back. Is that okay? All right, so so if it's okay if I film back there. Given her an opportunity to look into it and address yeah, she was, your concerns. She was very nice and exactly the kind of people I believe and I like to see working for as a public servant. My my viewers loved her. Thought she did a great job. Well good. And uh, just everybody's great job. So. Good. I'm glad. And uh, the concern on the on the uh, sign, you know, uh, that's why I came down here in the early, you know, and said something about it and and ask because I didn't want to make a big deal because I've seen it before, and it's just a mistake, somebody misunderstood, and it's usually corrected very easily. As soon as I hand that piece of paper over, and they look at it, and yeah, he's right. Okay. And uh, so, congratulate you on on that. The other one was, uh, you know, videotaping in open meetings, public meetings. And and here's the answer yeah. to that one. Apparently, that was probably an old policy that was in place. I can't find, after talking to some of our staff members, or we even know when that came about. So we have corrected that. We are not going to have that policy enforced any longer. Okay. So anyone want to walk in with a, with a camera, yeah. they can. Yeah. And uh, we do streamline all our city council meetings right. and our EDC meetings and planning and zoning commission meetings. So. You know, you're not going to see anything different, you know, if you come in with your camera or not. So, yeah, as long as you're not in the way, you know, interrupting. As, as long as stuff. you don't take away or interrupt the, yeah. the ability for the meeting to be conducted. Right, and that's what I would expect. That's perfectly acceptable for me, and I think anybody else would think straight. Well, good. So, <laughs> all right. This is Steve from PNP News. I was down there the other day checking on that signage on the service dogs. Oh yes, Mr. Steve, how are you? <laughs> Just fine. Uh, did they do anything with the sign? Yes, that very day I uh, I visited with city manager and actually uh, went over and talked to the chief of police about the whole thing because he's always really good about looking up government codes and things like that for us and. Um, I took it right away, took it down. So okay. um, the only thing that I can say for certain is that um, we think that maybe we just had someone who acted without doing the proper homework or getting the proper permissions to do so. We, we can't find anyone to take responsibility for who put it out there, but as soon as we learned of it, we took it down, and um, it's not out there anymore. <laughs> well, I figured that. It's not the first time we've seen that, and it, it seems to be just a... A mistake that some people make. That's why I come down and and talk first before I make a big deal out of something. Because well, uh, we appreciate the opportunity. <laughs> you know, I think we we try to do what's right. But we don't always get it right. But as soon as something's brought to our attention, we sure look into it and uh, find out. You know what isn't isn't correct. And so as soon as we 
looked at it and everything and found out that it wasn't right, we took it down. So uh, now we have more open space on our window. <laughs> and, uh, we thank you. Uh, we really do. You know, um, we want to do the right thing. And so um, we appreciate the opportunity to, to do that. And so that's what you did. You brought it to our attention. And it gave us a chance to, to make things right. And um, and then we also looked into um, the recording at the, the meetings, talked about that a little bit, and um, as you said, you know, it, there's no requirement for identifying yourself. The only thing that we talked about was that, you know, uh, unless someone's disrupting a meeting, um, you're perfectly allowed to sit in there and, and record without any need to identify yourself. So. Yeah, and that's as it should be, as long as nobody's uh, interrupting the meetings, getting in the way, making a nuisance or something, that's, that's the way it should be. I have no problem with that at all. Exactly. So, you know, sometimes these things, we, we view it as, as an opportunity to, to learn and uh, give us all a chance to talk about it a little bit. And, uh, you know, we all learned a little bit from the, the experience. So <laughs> I think it was a good thing. So thank you for, for allowing us the opportunity to get it right. Well, and, uh, it, as good as Cibolo has been with it, my other uh, test that I've done on, that you may not have heard, about uh, <laughs> I, I figured well, I, it would. I take that back. I think the police department, someone over at the police department, mentioned to me that uh, you had been by. So <laughs> I said, "Oh, okay, <laughs> that's good to know." So, yeah, and there's some other ones they don't. They probably don't even recognize it happened. But that's that's okay too because they passed. Uh, oh, well, great! <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. And yeah. uh, you know, I. I hope I did a good job. I, I was worried after the fact. I said, you you know, did I a great job. My my uh, subscribers said you did a great job, and they oh, loved you. <laughs> that makes my day. Uh, you know, I love people, and so as far as I'm concerned, being a, a public servant, which I think I am, you know, I it's my goal. I, you know, sometimes I, I'm just a person who lives in a city nearby, and, and when I have to reach out to my city hall, it's frustrating sometimes. And so I, I always go at it with the attitude that, you know, how, how would I want to be treated? And, and that's what I try to do. So, um, you know, I, I'm grateful and, and hope I did a good job. <laughs> well, you did. I'm going to be by there in a few minutes to get a few shots of the front window just to show everybody it's gone and uh, if you want to come out and say hi uh you're welcome to and if you don't that you, you don't need to so it's up to you i've got allergy eyes so i'm probably gonna hide today but uh, <laughs> well, i understand I that the city manager know that you're here if you want to speak with him for follow-up i can sure ask him to come out so you just uh, let us know if you want to do that and we'll make it happen well i'm gonna be there in about 10 minutes okay well i'll tell the girls when they see well, if they see you out there, they can mention it, and uh, I'll let them know that you plan on coming by. Okay. Steve, right? Yes, yeah, Steve. Okay. I'll right. let them know that you're planning on coming by in about 10 minutes, and thank you again for the opportunity. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.